water. It makes up 71% of the earth. We use it for so many things. When we shower, when we wash the dishes, and even after we've just been to the toilet. Most importantly though, water keeps us alive. It hydrates us and nourishes our bodies. Can you imagine, what would happen if we ran out of it? Although the idea of running out of the billion trillion litres of water which is present on our earth today may seem ridiculous, fresh water suitable for drinking is actually quite scarce. Only 2.5% of the water on earth is fresh and two thirds of that is trapped in glaciers and ice caps. And currently, while demand is increasing, supply is decreasing. The average Australian uses around 300 litres of water a day. There are 23 million people in Australia, which means as a country, we're using almost 7 billion litres of water a day, not even taking into account the water used by farmers and companies. In a year, Australians use more than 1 million litres of fresh water per person. Human activity means that pollution and climate change have never been a bigger issue. Many natural water sources which are located near urban areas are extremely polluted. This adds to disruption of ecosystems, food chains and death of aquatic animals. Although all of this does sound pretty bad, when you consider how much humans rely on aquatic animals as a food source, it gets a whole lot worse. Globally, humans consume more than 110 million tonnes of fish a year. Imagine how huge the impact would be if people could not rely on fish as a food source any longer. Climate change is affecting water availability, access and even quality. In many areas, climate change is shrinking water supply while encouraging the increase of in demand. Warmer temperatures increase the rate which water evaporates, which means there is more water in the atmosphere and less where we need it. As temperatures rise, people and animals both need more water to stay, stay healthy and thrive. If we continue in the direction we are heading, the amount of the world's population who are facing water shortages is estimated to quadruple from one-sixth to two-thirds in only ten years' time. But the news isn't all bad. There are a number of things you can do to help prevent this issue from getting any bigger. There are infinite ways to help save water, but some of the main ones you can focus on in your own home are using water efficient taps, showers, toilets and appliances, trying to take shorter showers, using your dishwasher and washing machine only for full loads and reusing water where possible. Check out our website at gogreenonlinemagazine.webs.com for more information on what you can do to help.